Hi, this is Adam Scott Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. And today we're here with a special treat. Many of you know that I spent a good time in emergency medical services. So whenever I get a chance to look at a piece of cutting edge technology, especially in the medical arena, I always take it. Come with me into the operating room of Dr. Chin at New York's Park Avenue LASIK. Park Avenue LASIK is New York's only no flap vision correction solution that is able to be performed on military, law enforcement, and other individuals that have high impact possibilities. Let's go into the operating room right now and take a look to see how Dr. Chin does his procedure. Okay, so um, just look straight ahead, open wide, and try not to blink or squeeze, okay? So the whole thing is really quick, and uh, you're not gonna feel anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna take off the epithelium of the eye. Yeah, well, well, try not to close your eye, when you close your eye, your eye rolls up in your head, and it just makes it harder for me to work. Okay, so we're just taking the skin off of the eye. She doesn't feel this at all because she was all numbed up. Uh, obviously, you couldn't do this in a normal eye. We, we loosened the skin up with that alcohol solution in that. So just look straight ahead and open wide. Yeah, that's good. See, now you're in a good position, but you keep closing your eye and then getting a little off center. So just keep both eyes open. So we have the skin off. And I'm just going to clean off the water from the cornea because otherwise the laser is going to vaporize the water and you get undercorrected, okay? So you have to make this dry so you don't get undercorrected. You, you got to look at the red line. Yeah, don't close your eye. Okay, and just take off some of the water here because otherwise it splashes around when we do the laser. I'm turning on the iris registration. It, it, it tracks the iris so she moves, it, it moves with her eye. Uh, and then... Well, people I found not typically research the tracker, but so just um, try not to move around, okay? Because she's kind of moving. I think what she's doing is she's intermittently closing her eyes. So why don't you tell her and Ross to keep all the eyes open and don't look around? Okay. Okay, don't move. So you, you could count down for her, okay? Less than a minute to go, okay? You're doing fine. People don't open right now, so you got about, you know, 50 seconds to go. So, so now the laser's ablating the tissue. It's kind of vaporizing tissue, and it's, um, it's changing the curve of her eye to make it the same shape as her contacts or glasses. So it's not really mysterious what the laser does. It just changes the cornea by evaporating tissue. And the remaining cornea is the same shape as the glasses. You got built in glasses, you don't need glasses anymore. Okay. You got about 20 seconds to go, you're doing great. Just keep up the good work. And just uh, count down the last 10 seconds or whatever. You're doing fine. We'll come up in the last 10 seconds. Here. Okay, so yeah, that, that's a high prescription, okay? So she was like uh, uh, like three times legally blind, actually. So you're legally blind when you're about 2400 and you don't see the big E, so she's way past that, okay? So her prescription's a little bit worse than mine was. I was pretty bad to begin with, so I, I had the same amount of myopia or nearsightedness. Uh, but she's got twice as much astigmatism as I had. She got a huge amount of astigmatism, okay? So... That amount of astigmatism can't even be reliably corrected in contact lenses, okay? So if she was in contact before, probably didn't fully correct her cell. All right, hold her cell in contact. Right, I open. Look at the red light. Open wide. Open, open. Yeah, good. Just keep your eye open, okay? We'll be done in a couple minutes. Then you won't need glasses anymore for the rest of your life. Okay? You'll, you'll open both eyes. And look at the red light. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and don't move. Okay, we're kind of ready to start. You got 70 seconds. Open 
right on. Look at the red light. Look at the bottom of the red light, not the top of the red light. Open wide. Wider is better. Both eyes wide. Coming up in the last 10 seconds. Wide, wide, wide. Bottom of the red light, not the top of the red light. Now don't look to, don't look to the right. Okay. You did fine, okay, so just keep looking straight. Try to keep all those open. This is just a little sponge with, uh, we're going to put mitomycin C in it, MMC. It's been scarring on the really high prescriptions, so. If we don't do this, she's going to scar, okay? So, she's actually so high, if she doesn't take her steroids afterwards, she's going to scar, okay? So, she's just going to make sure she takes her steroids afterwards so she doesn't scar, okay? Hey, don't close your eyes, look straight. Oh, um, you did good, okay? A little bit blinky. It's pretty cool, Are you isn't serious? it? serious? I have to think of America. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Okay, so this is the worst you're going to see for the rest of your life. Every day is going to be sharper, sharper. Are you serious? Yeah, by Thanksgiving, it's going to be like 50% better, and by Christmas, it's going to be like twice as good. <laughs> I it's, see your face. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you probably haven't seen like this since you're a little kid. No, I haven't seen like this since I was two. Yeah, okay. So by Christmas, the HD will kick in and you'll be like sharper than you ever saw with glasses or contacts because you had a tremendous... Wait a second. I see Bank of America. Yeah, it's cool, right? So you, um, yeah, because you had a high prescription that was maybe too high to correct with uh, glasses or contacts with the astigmatism fully, but we got rid of all your astigmatism, okay? So yeah, this is actually the worst you're going to see for the rest of your life and every day you're going to see sharper for like a month. Sharper, 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 sharper. It's cool, right? Wait, hold on. I could see. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it next, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mom will do it next. Yeah, so uh, you just got to follow the directions. And then as your eye heals, the vision gets better and better. And um, there's a chance you're going to see better without glasses and contacts than you did with them. Because the laser is more accurate than glasses or contacts. How do you feel? I feel good. Like... This, is, this is the best you ever remember seeing so far? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, since little. Yeah, since yeah. I got my glasses when I was three, right? Yeah, high, pre high prescriptions start when they're little, you know? How do the next few days look for Marina? She's going to stay sharper every day. I mean, what does she have to do to take, does she get to keep her eyes shut? She's going to keep her eyes shut this weekend, and then next weekend, no. I mean, next week she'll be fine, okay? So just this weekend, she's got to chill out a little bit. The non-cutting thing takes longer to heal, okay? So um, I did LASIK myself, and, then, and I did about 5,000 LASIK, okay? So with LASIK, you're fully recovered in about one to two days but you, you get your final best vision in a week and it never gets any better, okay? Uh, the non-cutting thing that we're doing here at Park Avenue Safe Site, it's like LASIK with an E. It's a non-cutting version. It's a newer version of PRK, which is the original procedure. So um, you don't really get your final best vision for like two months or something. So I would say you get about 80% of your vision within the first week, maybe 90% of the vision within the first two weeks, but it keeps getting better. So if you think of curves, on LASIK, you're, the curve's very rapid, but then it plateaus. Uh, LASIK, the curve's less steep, but then you, you eventually surpass the LASIK vision. Dr. Bikave and I both had LASIK. We both have a little bit of night glare and a little bit of dry eyes, and she wanted either one because that's from cutting the LASIK flat. When you cut the corneal nerves, uh, you kind of destroy them. They don't grow back with the LASIK, and then her blink rate's not right, and then she stares her eyes dry, and that's why you have dry eyes. I have dry eyes. I know you're interested in like laser for the military. We've done a bunch of military people like snipers and SEALs, special forces. They can't get LASIK because if you get punched in the eye, the flap could come up. In other words, I did my LASIK uh, 14 years ago. I was the first doctor in New York to get LASIK. If somebody punches me in the eye, my flap really could come up. Um, on her procedure, if somebody punches her in the eye, there's no flap to come up, okay? So I lasered one of my secretaries about seven years ago and she got mugged in the Bronx with brass knuckles and she had just a black and blue eye, never lost any vision. If she had a LASIK 100%, that flap's coming up, okay? So that's why special forces, uh, contact sports, uh, martial arts, boxing, we, we did a bunch of boxers who uh, go to the army across the street on Sunday, 
Sunday Night Fights or something. Uh, we did a mixed martial artist. Uh, anybody like that, I really think shouldn't get laid sick because they get poked in the eye and there's problems. This is a safer procedure, okay? So essentially it's safer during the procedure. That's why we the only glass OR in the United States. If I was doing LASIK, when I was doing LASIK, I couldn't have a glass OR because some of the flaps don't go so great and then you have people watching complications. Well, the only reason we can have a glass OR is we know that we're not gonna have a complication in the OR, which is nice for us and the patient, okay? Um, the trade-off is the healing's a little bit slower, okay? So the, 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 the surgery in the OR is safer. The surgery afterwards from trauma is safer. The final vision's better. Um, you have less dry eyes and less night glare. The only downside really is you gotta keep your eyes closed for one weekend, okay? And she's happy with her vision now anyway. It's not like she's like, oh, this is bad. This is pretty good. And it's gonna get twice as good in a month. By the time Thanksgiving rolls around, she'll be even better. And Christmas, it'll be like amazing. You'll have like some sick vision. Hi, I can so, see your faces. This so, is so weird. It's cool, isn't it? So uh, what's the main reason you did this? For running or is it like sports? It's, it's besides running, it's like, um, Anything I do, I have to always had. I always had to have my glasses on, so now I don't have to invest money in glasses or sunglasses that are like over three. They're really hours. expensive. Yeah, yeah I could buy five dollars. Yeah, glasses you go to like sunglass hat and get anything you want for like fifty bucks, you know. And then all, we, we kind of say it's the difference between owning your vision versus renting your vision. So now you own it before you're just renting it every year. Right, year, that's true. So thank you, know. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Kenny. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it a lot. We learned a lot and. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming by. I really, really enjoy it. It was a pleasure watching the operation. It was quite impressive. Yeah, we're the only place with a glass oper operating room, and anybody can come watch anytime. Every Friday or uh, Thursday, we're operating, and uh, we're the first place to do eye jewelry. Okay, yeah. just put eye jewelry in, uh, you know. <laughs> so we're trying to be very innovative. I want to be the first sent to laser a dog. We're going to try to find a dog to laser who's nearsighted. Okay. And um, also, I'm going to try to be the first surgeon in the world to laser himself because I need a touch up. And you can't LASIK yourself because clearly you can't cut a flap in your eye. Right. But I just want to demonstrate that this is so safe that I could do it to myself. Well, thank you to you and Park Avenue Laser Vision. This was great. Hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Okay, thanks absolutely. for coming. Thank you.